this violating of uh, of uh, this the right to a speedy trial? Yes. Mm -hmm. I of course said it happened at arrangement uh, arraignment, and Judge Landis disagreed with me. Mm -hmm. It seemed that we took the last year and two months uh, going through uh, all the court hearings. Yes. And our side and their side, and then the county clerk's mix up. Yes. Of uh, of the uh, actual court hearing on this last Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> But if you don't actually put uh, another docketed court hearing on that day that my public defender was representing me, he said, well, actually, we had the 28th. I had the 28th. That's what I told him. I said, I had no plans on going to court that day. <laughs> Must have been some sort of clerical error. <laughs> is this 90 day speedy trial? Is this something that's enforceable? <laughs> because I know I didn't waive my right to a speedy trial. No, he didn't. <laughs> But you arrested me on uh, September 19th, yes, mm -hmm. for a failure to appear uh, for um, a court hearing on the 21st day of August, yes. And now we're in uh, the end of September, going to be October next month. Now, if we if we did read the state's response and um, Brett Roberts said, well, Speedy told, yes, because my public defender, he admitted uh, exhibit A and B, <laughs> <laughs> that happened to be fraudulent. But um, the nice part is, mm -hmm, uh, let's see, the matter was set over to July 6th. Yes. Is that the uh, approximate day that we did toll Speedy? Yes. And it's now September. Mm -hmm. So uh, that would have been six weeks because um, I could probably look at the date on this, um, this evaluation that didn't get transcribed. Yes, good. Maybe everybody else can look at it, too. Oh, <laughs> see, Phyllis, she turned hers in, yeah, on May 14th of 2018. And then we, uh, May, uh, June 6th, we had that. Yes. But somebody slipped it in the file of Judge Landis and she didn't, she wasn't able to read it. <laughs> she said, don't do that. Okay. I've told you not to do that before. Okay. I read every one of these evaluations and I never make a decision without reading them. <laughs> but she did make a decision. <laughs> not that it's a technicality, but it was on record actually. <laughs> Now, when I when I think about it, okay, because I'm looking for it right here. I know it's in here someplace. Uh, if it's if it was July sixth, then it's uh, it's uh, August sixth, uh, September sixth, and October sixth. Isn't this the twenty eighth when I was supposed to appear in court at two p.m. <laughs> Am I fair to say that without a docketed court date after that hearing, yes, you could have put it for next week. We could have got it done and had the trial within three or four days. Yes, we could have. <laughs>